Researchers are concerned about a change in the size of blue whales spotted off the coast of Australia. They're worried the mammals are not finding enough krill to eat as a result of warming ocean temperatures. Joining us live is wildlife scientist Dr Vanessa Perotta. Dr Perotta, really appreciate your time. Thank you. Is that the problem here? Is climate change to, to blame? What else could be behind the blue whales looking on the, on the skinny side this season? Well, good I, I should say good afternoon. I lost my voice. Um, basically, blue whales are one of the main... Let me start again. <clears throat> as you can see here... Sorry, I've lost can my voice. Like? Yeah, I'm, I'm back. Um, as you can see, blue whales are one of the world's largest animals, and these animals, unfortunately, are not doing too well in Australian waters. This is at least what Australian researchers have found from the blue whale study. Now, these animals typically feed in Australian waters over the summer where they're known to put on a lot of weight. And that is typically a good thing because they need a lot of weight to then go into those warmer waters of Indonesia. Now, in Indonesia, it's thought that they breed and have their calves. But unfortunately, this year, the blue whale study observed by Peter Gill and his colleagues have found out that a lot of these individuals are quite thin, which is not good. No, not good at all. I'll try and ask a long question here, Vanessa, and give you a chance to grab a sip of water if you can. Um, I was just reading a bit earlier and saying that a lot of environmental groups are calling for krill fishing to be outlawed. They're arguing that super trawlers are endangering pods of whales in the Southern Ocean. This is something that we've heard the former Greens leader, Bob Brown, uh, talking a lot about. Just how big a risk is commercial fishing to these sort of whales? I would say these whales face a number of threats, and that's humans, natural threats, and it's it's quite hard to talk about understanding the entire picture. But what we do need to know as scientists is that these animals are vulnerable to changes in our ocean, and climate change is probably a really big driver of that. In addition to climate change, it's not just uh, those natural factors where you might see variability in prey moving here or there, but it's really us as humans that are causing potentially a lot of these changes. And what we can do, and one of the things we found with the blue whales, is we can see or use them rather as this kind of canary in the coal mine. So any changes that we might see in blue whale populations or their health or the way they're looking might be reflective of potential changes that is going on in our oceans. So we need to look at the bigger picture when it comes to looking at the world's biggest animal and potentially thinner blue whales might be indicative of changing oceans, changing water temperatures, changing where krill or prey are going for these animals, in addition to potential changes with human activities in our ocean, which is something we need to be mindful of when we look at the bigger conservation picture when it comes to blue whale conservation in Australian waters. Just picking up on what you're saying there about whale populations, mm -hmm. how are whale numbers tracking compared with previous years? More broadly, how are the world's whales doing? Well, the world's whales, there's a number of different populations and you have some whales that are doing really well and some whales that aren't doing very well. For the blue whales, we don't exactly know the entire extent of their numbers, but what we do know is that their numbers or their population rather in the Australian population have not recovered as well as the humpback whales have. So that's really key to be aware of. OK, what point are we up to in the whale migration season? Where are the bulk of the whales at the moment? Where should whale watchers be, be focusing their attention? The pictures we're showing our viewers are just gorgeous. I'm sure that a lot of people would like to see them in real life. Yes, well, right now it is whale watching time, which is a good thing. And while you might not likely to see a, a pygmy blue whale on the west coast of Australia, you're more than likely to see a humpback whale like what you can see right now on the screen. And these animals are making their journey along the west and the east coast, and it literally is the start of the humpback whale season. So we will start seeing these animals in addition to southern right whales and dwarf monkey whales. So watch this space. There's a lot of whales, and as you can see, we've been talking a lot about whales, which means people are so excited to learn more about them and as the months go on we're likely to see a lot more whales in our waters. Dr Vanessa Perotti I really appreciate your time thank you for that hopefully those blue whales can fatten up soon and we can have a good news story on that front next season. Thank you so much. Thank you.